Hello, this is Dr. Sam Mathias, Associate Clinical Professor of Rheumatology at USC. I'd like to discuss today a new subject called inflammatory fibromyalgia, which is an article was published recently in Current Rheumatology Review in 2017 about a new concept of inflammatory fibromyalgia. As you know, fibromyalgia is a common disease, 6 to 8 percent on populations. Up to 10 million Americans have fibromyalgia. The cause of, of fibromyalgia is still unknown, but we can divide fibromyalgia in multiple categories. It can be primary fibromyalgia without underlying cause, it can be secondary fibromyalgia to uh, autoimmune disease like Jogren syndrome, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis, and other diseases, it can be auto inflammatory fibromyalgia that we're going to discuss in this article. Also, it can be neuroendocrine fibromyalgia or neurological fibromyalgia with small fiber neuropathy. Fibromyalgia in this article discussing as one subject of auto-inflammatory fibromyalgia. In our article, we discuss three categories, review articles. First category of increased uh, inflammatory marker, like sedimentation rate and CRP in certain fibromyalgia region, which we published before uh, an article about up to 20% of patients has high inflammatory markers. Second category, increased cytokines in fibromyalgia, including IL-1, IL-6, IL-8, TNF-alpha, and, and some cytokines which published before in certain articles. And the third category is increasing of neuroendocrine hormone, like substance B, uh, 5, uh, HIA, and serotonin. And we published before something about increased leptin level as a hormonal uh, inflammation for fibromyalgia. The conclusion about these articles, there is subcategory of fibromyalgia called inflammatory fibromyalgia that can affect these patients that may need later on different kind of medications like a, a biologic treatment or anti-inflammatory medications for these patients that need further investigations and, uh, and more work for that. Thank you very much.